What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so we are back for another episode review uh the final episode for me of um empire and when i say final i mean final okay um this season five episode 18 the roughest day ever um this the final season finale listen listen i was underwhelmed okay i was underwhelmed it was you want to know why i was underwhelmed because i figured it out last week I said it in the episode, I said it in the review, I fucked around and figured it out, and so therefore, I wasn't left with, oh my god, you know, shit like that, I wish I wouldn't have figured it out, maybe I would have been a little bit more, you know, into it, but it was a cool episode for what it was, um, it wasn't really that much drama into it, I mean, it was drama, but it really wasn't that much like, oh shit type of moments or whatever, you know, so basically, Andre, he's in the hospital, he was flatlining, um, they wanted to just call it, and then they was like, no, nah, bitch, you better, um, you know, shock his ass again, or I'm gonna shock him for you, you know, so they did, and of course, he comes back with the rhythm and the pulse, and, um, you know, he's talking to Terry, Cookie is pissed off about the whole thing with Lucius and basically trying to blame Lucius and saying that you was about to kill my son and all this stuff. And she's not trying to hear the fact that he was just doing what Andre wanted because Andre would have eventually found a way to do it himself, okay? And I guess in Lucius' mind, it's better that I just go ahead and make peace with it than to come home or to find him just, you know, he didn't did it his own way and I had nothing to do with it and I couldn't, you know be there or whatever and so cookie ain't trying to hear that andre was even trying to tell her you know it's not all that it's not his fault don't let don't 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 be mad at him because it's not his fault okay um he didn't tell her because he she would have started to stop him but like i said i feel as determined as andre was he was gonna find a way to do it regardless okay um because he felt people do stuff when they feel like all hope and all options are gone. And at that moment, he had made peace with it and he felt like all hope and options was gone. Um, you know, he was talking to Terry. They had a moment to talk and, you know, she was like, I'm a nurse. Why didn't you come and tell me? He said, you are, are, are you are in. You know, there's nothing that they can do. OK, you know this. So, you know, this was the better option. Did I hear that you said that you was pregnant? She was like, yes, I'm pregnant. We having a baby boy. And it was like, oh, my God, we having a boy, you know, and um, his face lit up. And I said, OK, so now you have something to live for. Now you have something that's going to get you through this time. You're not going to try to attempt to, um, you know, take your life again. You're probably going to try to strive to be better and, um, you know, get better as possible so that you can see your baby be born. And so, you know, that happened. And then he pulls out this little ring box that Andre, not Hakeem had brought from the gift shop, a little quartz ring or whatever. And, you know, he proposed to Terry and he was like, I just want you to be my wife. I want my son to have my last name. I want all of this. Okay. Now at first, Terry confuses me a little bit. Okay. Because at first Terry was looking like, bitch, uh, um, why don't we just wait till you get better? She was just giving me the vibes. Like, I don't want to marry no sick bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what she was giving me vibes. Like, I know he going to die. I don't want to marry him like that, you know, and then be tied to him and all that heart. I don't want that. But then eventually she said, okay, cool. Let's do this thing, you know? And then she had a smile on her face. So I was like confused. And so, you know, Kingsley was in the um hospital waiting room with Hakeem. Hakeem didn't want him there. You know, he was talking about how he got the best heart surgeon in Stanford he can call up. And Hakeem just wasn't trying to, um, you know, give him no flavor, whatever. At this point, I'm not necessarily mad at Hakeem and Jamal for not liking Kingsley because Kingsley did something that... You know, I wouldn't say it's unforgivable, but it really, really, it, it he could have been forgiven with time, okay? But if you have people that's not willing to do that yet, they're not in that mind space, and especially given the fact that um, they still dealing with the ramifications of the stuff that he did, they weren't finna forgive him just yet. Do I think that eventually they would have? Eventually, given time, they probably would have forgiven him and probably would have let him in. Um, they probably wouldn't have been close, but they probably would have just let it go once the Empire got back to the place that it's supposed to be. And so, at this point, you know, um, Kingsley went over there to Lucian and 
um, you know, was like, why don't we just get up out of here? And so they left and, you know, was going outside, saw this guy selling some records and stuff, talking about his old albums. And then he mentions, he said, I used to do something with Andre, my um, first son and all that shit. And I said, oh, Lord, why did you say it like that? He was like, I knew my first seed was going to be a boy. He was like, when Cookie was pregnant. Um, you know, she thought she was going to have a girl, but I said my first, my first child was going to be a um, boy or whatever. And that's what happened. And so he felt the way because he was not talking about him. He was talking about Andre as if Andre was his first child and Kingsley was not. Okay. So he's feeling some type of way. And, um, we get this whole thing with Becky and uh, Giselle, they trying to figure out a way to get Empire back on top and all this stuff. So they come up with this idea to stream, um, get people to sign up for the streaming the streaming service that they have by putting this concert, this truth tour, or whatever, on um, stream. And they have to buy it to look at it and then some behind the scenes footage and all that stuff or whatever. And so if they want more of this, they have to subscribe and buy and all this stuff. And so it wind up working. It wind up working. Empire is back. They getting a whole bunch of people, um, you know, coming in to, you know, subscribe back to Empire. Viewership is up. Listeners is up. Everything is happy. You know, at this point, um, Becky, Becky getting on my nerves. But see, I understand where Becky is coming from, though. See, it's Becky probably. I want to be like, damn, Becky, where your loyalty lies at. But Becky is all about herself and all about business. And her whole thing is loyalty at this point is not paying my bills, okay? And I've been loyal to these motherfuckers at one point in time. And they kind of screwed me over, which they did, okay? They was playing games with her in the beginning. So that's why I'm not 100% like, uh, Becky, you, you, you moving funny. Becky got to look out for herself and her well-being because when she was at Empire from the jump, she saw how they, when it comes down to it, that family is only going to look out for that family. Even if they say we are all family, when they say family, they mean they blood family, not everybody else, okay? Because they did, they did kind of screw her over. So she see how that works. So she see that they out for themselves. So let me be out for mine and get mine in this process, okay? And so she was talking to Giselle about, you know, well... Is it, that's good enough for you that, you know, oh, they saying that the streamers are coming back and all this stuff. When you got all in the headlines and everything saying that it's Cookie and, um, you know, um, um, what's his name? Lucius. That's the one that helped save Empire when they know, when we know deep down inside that it's because of us that they saved it or whatever that it came back. Giselle was like, I hear what you're talking about, you know, but it is what it is at this point. But don't worry about it because I got this taken care of. What she wind up doing is getting her, um, buying this building that she want to make a record label and want to run with Cookie, um, um, Becky and call it Bossy Records or something like that. And it's all women and, you know, women empowerment and stuff like that. And so, you know, at first she was like, I put all my equity from, um, Empire into this. You need to do the same thing. She said, bitch, I got bills to pay. But she was like, let's do 80-20. Okay. And she said, hell no. I said, 80-20. 80 fucking 20, I guess, since you putting the bulk of the money in there, I guess. Becky said, you know, she convinced her at first. She was like, nah, bitch. And then she convinced her and she was like, say 70, 30, and then we good. So they going to be having their own record label. We going to see how this going to work um, next week because she was thinking at first they could have an imprint under Empire. But that still meant that, you know, um, Lucius would have his hands in it. They trying to start their own thing so that they won't have no no say in it. It's just them two, you know. So, you know, making boss moves, I guess. Moving on from that, um, Kingsley go see his mama. And she was in her bag. She was in the bag. She was getting ready to get up out of there. She finally being able to re get be released. And Kingsley like, is you really sure that you ready to get out of here? Because last time, you know, shit didn't go too well. You work better while you up in here. And at this point... You know, he was like, I was over there at the ho at hospital with Andre. You know, he need a new heart and all that stuff. Oh, so you was over there with them, huh? 
noose just done got to your ass. That motherfucker was terrible to your ass. And you over there fucking around with them. Bitch, you supposed to be team mama, not team daddy. Okay? You just met that motherfucker. That's how she was. I was like, ew. Ew, she was nasty coming at him. You know, slapped him in his face and all that shit because he wasn't trying to agree. He was thinking and doing stuff for his own self. And then gonna say, that motherfucker hurt me. That bitch offered me $200 to get an abortion for your ass. I should have took the money. I said, wait a minute. You don't say no shit like that to the only person that been up in your life consistently consistently, and who was paying for your fucking medical bills and shit like that, putting you up in the best, bitch. You was an ungrateful ass motherfucker because he ain't had to do that. Bitch, you, you just turned right back into crackhead white Tracy, okay? That's what you turned back into and you just turned away from, turned the uh, only person that was in your corner truly away from you after you poisoned that boy. You poisoned his mind with all your foolishness to the point that he go over there to um lucius um lucius trying to get the stuff ready for the uh the the, the streaming shit and he was like was i ever your son you know if um you had your obituary and would i be on there as your son and all this stuff he pulled the gun out he was like if you trying to be a lion everybody know if you a lion you gonna pull the gun out you better use that shit oh so you want me to use it you want me to use it i'm sitting here like what is going on? I said, Kingsley, you really going to let... Kingsley was going through some stuff. And I just really didn't like the way that they did this. Because it literally went from zero to 100 in his emotions. To well, from from him getting to this point of wanting to kill himself. Like, damn, I didn't know he was hurting that bad that he would really take his life. It didn't seem that well. Like, I understand you hurt him because he still had his money. He still had, he's still a billionaire, okay? He still had all that money don't buy you love and money don't buy you um happiness or whatever. But he didn't lose nothing in all this whole thing. Probably his respect a little bit, but in time, you could have gained that back. And then in time, you could have gained the respect of your brothers and, and Cookie was um on the verge of giving the same thing. But then you just went, from zero to 100 and just killed yourself. And I was just confused as to how this shit, how did we get here? That part just threw me off. I was like, wait a minute. Like, he was depressed, depressed. I mean, I know he felt the way, but he was working it out. And I guess because he probably was dealing with demons all his life and it just said, fuck it at this point. But I was just like, damn, okay. And of course, they're going to try to use their heart for uh, Andre. And, you know, uh, since uh, Lucius was the only family at that time, he signed the organs over because he wasn't an organ donor. And so Tracy come in and talk about some, you ain't finna get my son's heart. You killed my son. You killed my son. Cookie made me mad in this instance, okay? Cookie really made me mad because, you know, I know she tries to talk her down. She thought Tracy was going to come around. Tracy said, bitch, fuck you, okay? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. I'm finna go in here. She was like, Tracy had me fucked up in this moment. Cookie damn near prostrated herself okay she pours her heart out she crying in front of this white lady right and next thing you know you thinking tracy heart finna warm up or whatever tracy face look like i understand you know what but it kind of fucks with me that i'm wasting my time listening to your ass when i need to be up in there holding my son's hand for the last goddamn time i said bitch wait a minute tracy <laughs> Tracy tried it, but it's understandable. You know, she going through some shit or whatever. You know, she oversees um, um, uh, Cookie in the hospital room with Andre talking to him. And her heart softens up. And she was like, okay, you can get his heart. She said, but bitch, don't think that this shit going to be free. I would have put a price on that bitch too. Okay, thinking like a crackhead bitch, I would have put a price on that shit too. Bitch, you want the heart for how much, bitch? For how much? Girl. Anyway, you know, they in the waiting room. Um, waiting for the surgery to go through or whatever. And then Cookie sitting in a chair and then Lucius come, I think gets her some coffees and sit, um, behind her, the chair behind her. And she gonna ask him, this is what pissed me off with Cookie. Given, I, I was so mad that she asked him this and I know it's because of the way that he has worked in the past. But when have you ever seen, if that's the case, he would have killed his mama. His mama tried to kill him too, okay? He would have killed his mama, but he didn't. She asked him, did you, did you kill him? 
I need you to tell me the truth. You up here lying and all this stuff. The re and, and the fact that she had to ask him that and she wasn't believing, given that he was the only one who was accepting of Kingsley. He, he was really right off the back accepting of him. He was the main one who forgave him. Okay. Forgave him for everything. Was trying to include him. And you going to literally put out there that he tried to kill him. Girl, that made me mad. That made me mad. Okay. But anyway, Andre, he all better. Um, we did get a random little performance between Devon and, um, um, Tiana. I don't want them to be together. I just don't. You know, I, I want him with somebody else. Like, put my boo with somebody else, okay? I don't want him with somebody else that had Hakeem ran out through her. But, um, anyway, moving on from that. Um, end of the episode, he was at the funeral, Lucius, and... Conway bring her ass up in there. Talking about, did Cookie know about this? We want Damon Cross. She tried to make it seem like he, she was finna come there for a nice visit. And the shit went left. We want Damon Cross, okay? You don't want to give us him? But bitch, look at this. Did Cookie tell you that she knew about Damon way before she went on that trip with Panama to him? With him to Panama? Shows him some pictures. Did you know that he fucked your wife or whatever? You um imagine him being up in the room and her screaming his name and shit. I said, Conway, bitch! You need to get fucked up. Like, fucked up, Okay. For real, for real. Lucius was like, bitch, I know all about this shit. And when he said that shit about her being with him and all that stuff like that, Lucius was about to whoop her ass. And, it, you know, Thirsty had to calm him down. And it was like, you know what? You want some bullshit coming in here doing some shit like this? You going to Photoshop some shit like this? I said, baby, that picture ain't Photoshop. That shit is real. Girl, he went back to the, um, you know, to the to to Conway went to her office, Damon in the office trying to bribe her, talk about something. I said, hey, you got political aspirations. I got $20 million that I want to throw behind the candidate, you know, um, uh, he was like, why don't you just try to get, uh, let's, let's, I can help you get Lucius. He was like, bitch, Lucius might turn on your ass before you do because he knows that you were trying to fuck his wife, that you obsessed with his wife and she accept, he accepts, uh, uh, obsessed with her too. I said, what the hell is going on? Okay. This is irritating me right about now. I said, who's going to take out who at this point? Um, we already know Damon going to get taken out. Because if Lucia get taken out, it's over with the show. For real, for real. Uh, at this point, Lucia's taking out some money. He wanted to go take care of Damon. Thirsty had to tell him, chill out. Okay. They already got a warrant out for you. They going to come try to rest your ass in the morning at 12 o'clock that afternoon or whatever. And so at this point, he thinking about just getting away. Okay. And so he wanted to get away. He called Cookie. Cookie moved, meet up at the airport. Hey, come on, let's go ahead and let's go away for a little bit. And she was like, I'm not leaving my son. And you know what? At this point, I wanted, when I got out of jail, I really wanted 50% of my company. But I wanted 100% of you. I know that, baby, and I gave that to you. No, you didn't. Okay? All our wrongs ain't corrected. I said, bitch, it took years to, to do those wrongs. Okay? It's going to take a while to correct all them hoes. All right? But... Cookie was just fed up. She wanted something for herself. And he was trying to convince her to leave and, and leave and go with him. And she was like, no. Nah. She was like, bitch, I slept with Damon Cross. Okay, how you make that? How that make you feel? You still want me to get up on this helicopter with you? I said, bitch, you ain't had to say that. Did you really? Did you really? Because it didn't look like you did. It looked like y'all was in the process of and you stopped it. So you mean to tell me that you really slept with him? Or you said that just to hurt his feelings? Girl... She turned around and got back in that car and Lucius walked onto that helicopter. I said, y'all are playing with fire in this bitch. All right. But that's how the finale was. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And um, I'll see y'all for star finale. Peace.